I have a couple of comments that I'd like to uh, share with everybody. Uh, first of all, uh, in regard to the issue over on, on Francis and with the Pizza Palace, moving, moving forward with that, um, you know, uh, Councilor Nelson did bring up the, the idea of, uh, you know, with the zone, zoning issues. Uh, I think maybe that, number one, should be checked. Uh, with that, the the other thing uh, with with the parking, um, I think you know the communication that that we're going to have the communication with the uh, the residences and, and with you, Mr. Bedard. I know there, there's talk that's already been going on, so we'll, we'll continue with that, and we will rectify this situation so that uh, you know that every, everybody uh, it cooperates. Uh, and, and moving forward with this issue that we seem to be uh, having here. The second thing that uh, that I just want to bring up is um, we are still continuing to move forward with the, the formation of our diversity committee. All right. So to date, the town manager's office has received 11 applications from residents uh, who are interested in serving. Uh, we're expanding the reach to ensure that everybody's going to have the opportunity to apply, then we will review. Uh, the Board of Ed is also continuing its efforts, and I do believe we'll continue to work together on, on these issues. Uh, I know at their last meeting, the Board of Ed established Parent Advisory Council, and the superintendent has been working with the administrative staff, and I know that there was an in-service workshop. Uh, one thing uh, that I even wanted to bring up to the town manager, I, I think that, uh, you know, maybe for us on, on the council and even for the uh, administration, that maybe we, we should have a diversity uh, workshop ourselves. Uh, I thought it was... Uh, I, I did attend the one um, that the teachers did have, and I thought it was pretty good. So um, if anyone wants to be considered for this committee, please go online, fill out the application under the government tab, uh, go to boards and commissions, and if you don't have access to a computer, just give, give a call to the town manager's office, and they'll help you complete the form. But we, uh, we will be moving forward uh, with that. Uh, also, um, you know, later on this week, and I just want to mention this very quickly, and it's been brought up before, on the 20th, there is a symposium at the Senior Center, which is the focus on mental health, and it starts at 9 o'clock. So if anybody's interested in attending, um, <clears throat> it's October 20th, 9 o'clock. Um, the other thing that uh, I want to just bring out to our community. We get notifications of overdoses, deaths, uh, Narcan saves that are that are by our EMS staff and by our police departments. We have an issue that we that we should not be avoiding here in town. O opioid use here. Uh, we, we have a lot of narcotics uh, violations here. Uh, we've had a lot of arrests of late and big time arrests. We have to, as a community, deal with this problem. And, you know, we, we've had the community conversation with uh, the diversity. I think that this is a, another avenue that we have to talk about as a community and not just put underneath the rug and say, oh, everything's fine in this town. I am very concerned about uh, the, the use of drugs here in town. Uh, our police department does a fantastic job in, uh, you know, doing the things that they have to do with their undercover work and the detectives uh, and, and, and getting these major busts that, that we've had, we, you know. Uh, all those the, the fentanyl that is out there on the streets it's it's, it's a dangerous situation but I, I just think that we have to uh, you know start being
being a little aware of this and also with mental health issues that are out there. Um, so that was that was my, my, my big spiel, so to say. But I, I also want to give a shout out to Advanced Auto. Advanced Auto has taken an initiative here in town that they are uh, forming uh, and they, they want to do a hiring initiative of adults and with disabilities. I know that Walgreens has a great program. I know that um, Advanced Auto is going to be taking place of that. They want to show the impact to the community and what we can do as partners to help hire more, be a more inclusive community for people with disabilities. And uh, I think that's a great initiative. Um, and I look forward to my, my talks that I, I will have with them. But I just wanted to mention that to everybody that um, that they are launching a, a real big initiative for uh, people with disabilities in the hiring process. Uh, very quickly, October 22nd, we have the Jack-O-Lantern Jack Festival here uh, on the green. Um, and Teacher of the Year ceremony. If you, have, if you have that opportunity, Hazardville Memorial at 4 o'clock on the 20th. And uh, that's all, all that I have to say today. I want to thank everybody that came up and, uh, you know, spoke for uh, public communication. So thank you. Thank you for that. All right. Mo moving onward.